Hello viewers. Today is the third and last day of the 50th anniversary of Edmonton Heritage Festival 2023 which is being celebrated in Edmonton, Canada. Today every pavilion of the 65 countries participating in the festival is trying his level best to showcase their best heritage, best performance and best food. So let's go and enjoy the festival. इस वक्त मैं एडमिंटन हेरिटेज फेस्टिवल पे हूँ और आज इसका फेस्टिवल का तीसरा दिन है और आप बताता चलूँ कि ये इस वक्त फिफ्टी एनिवर्सरी चल रही है हेरिटेज फेस्टिवल की तो बहुत ज़्यादा लोग आए हुए हैं और आज चूँकि तीसरा दिन है तो एवरीबॉडी इज़ इन फुल घूम सारे लोग इंजॉय कर रहे हैं और सबको बड़ा मज़ा आ रहा है और ऐसा लग रहा है जैसे किसी ग्लोबल विलेज में हम लोग फिर रहे हैं क्योंकि इस वक्त 65 के करीब यहाँ पे पवेलियंस इंस्टॉल हुए हैं और हर कंट्री चाहती है कि वो सबसे ज़्यादा अच्छा परफॉर्म करे और सबसे ज़्यादा उनको सर्टिफिकेट्स और मेडल्स मिलें तो आप भी हमारे साथ रहें मैं आपको अभी दिखाऊँगा कि क्या है लेकिन मौसम आज बहुत प्यारा है बहुत ज़बरदस्त मौसम है बादल भी आए हुए हैं तो आगे देखें हो सकता है बारिश भी हो जाए और फिर हम मजीद इंजॉय करेंगे ठीक है तो हमारे साथ रहे एंड लेट्स इंजॉय द फेस्टिवल थैंक यू वेरी Hello viewers, uh, right now I am at the uh, Ethiopian pavilion and uh, this lady she is going to tell us and demonstrate uh, how they make coffee in Ethiopia. So tell us something about the coffee uh, because I, I heard that it's a speciality of your country. Absolutely, do you know where coffee originates? It originates in Ethiopia. Even the name Kavi comes from the word Kafa, which is the name of a province in Ethiopia. And what we say is, the whole world wakes up because of Ethiopia, because we gave Kavi to the world. In case you don't know, when we do our Kavi, we start from the green beans, then we roast it. After that, we grind it. And then we put it in this beautiful pot to boil it. And then we pour the best coffee and we share it. And it's not only one cup what we drink at a time, we drink three cups Very nice. in, the, in that coffee ceremony. So, and the incense. Thank you. And of course, part with the coffee ceremony. Let me taste and then coffee. I'll tell you how is it. Yeah. Wow, very refreshing. Please come on in. Please come on in. And enjoy the coffee. Yes, and I will take that. Let me see. Oh. Are you guys working here or volunteering? We're working. We're the oh, very nice. Yeah, okay. Girls, girls. 
stuff? Yeah. Very nice. Good. Enjoy it. Have a fun. What's your name? My name is Tunin. And uh, your costume, uh, from which country does it come? It's Palestinian. Okay. And this thing is like called a kufiya. So it's like traditional. Pavilion in the Heritage Festival has been going on for the past 35 years or so. Uh, what we normally try to do is we have we usually have three different tents. One big tent for food, one is for selling arts and crafts or trinkets, and then we always have a middle tent that we want to showcase some of our culture. So what we have today, we always have a theme. This year's theme is the Edmonton Chinatown, as well as featuring the um, 100 years anniversary of the uh, Chinese Exclusion Act that happened in 1923. Uh, we also feature a couple of stories from local Edmontonians regarding what the impact of the head tax and the Chinese Exclusion Act uh, with the local Chinese community. How are you today? Great. So what is this about? These are fortune six. So you okay. shake it until okay. one falls out onto the ground. And that one, the first one that falls, tells you your fortune. Very so nice, try. very nice. Let me try. What does it say? The cause and effect cycle plays an important part in your success and failure. Do not force it, let it come. Exactly. Thank you, thank you so much. What do you call this? Fanafa. Fanafa.
Edmonton Heritage Festival and welcome to the Croatian Pavilion. We're very excited to be back after a short break. Our last Heritage Festival was 2019 and otherwise we've been a, a proud pavilion at the Edmonton Heritage Festival since its inception. So we're glad to be back. A Right, uh, okay. We 
Yeah, unfortunately because the pastor is wet, we cannot do a demo. Apologize for that. Hopefully we'll see you guys again next year. You know what? It touches me really because it started to rain. We were gonna cancel the performance, but I see you guys like the crowd is still there. Thank you. You know, thank you for your support. Thank you. My personal feeling is that all the visitors have fully enjoyed the festival and uh, if I could summarize my feelings, it looks like we are in a global village where the world lives together with no borders. I wish this festival will help in eradicating racism and creating cultural diversity, inclusion and harmony among the people to bring the world together.